Let me challenge you because there's a pretty obvious point here. If he was, <laughs> if he was not anti-establishment, why does the establishment try to put him in prison for 500 years? So, and, if, hold, and, on uh, well, hold on a second. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're checking out Charles Kick runs rings around Trump's hater. Guys, this is going to be wild. Let's get straight into this. So I, I do have massive disagreements with you, but I do want to thank you for coming and speaking with us because I don't agree with people trying to silence you from speaking. I don't think that's right. So thank you for coming and speaking with us. Um, this, I don't really understand this idea that uh, President Trump is anti-establishment because I think his record shows that he's actually really establishment. So just a couple examples, like he took uh, Barack Obama's drone strikes, which had a 90% uh, civilian casualty rate and you know it was a bunch of war crimes that Barack Obama committed with that killed innocent civilians and everything Trump took that and he increased Obama's drone strikes by 432 percent and even his first raid as president um, the raid in Yemen killed an eight-year-old American girl and like another example he filled his cabinet with like war hawks like John Bolton who's never met a war he didn't like that's true uh, swamp swampy people like Alexander Acosta who he was literally the guy that like brokered the sweetheart deal for Jeffrey Epstein. So I just, I don't get the, and even his voting record, like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, they voted with him like 78% well, so of the time. Liz Cheney voted 90%. Yes, thanks sorry. for being here. Let me challenge you because okay. there's a pretty obvious point here. If he was, <laughs> if he was not anti-establishment, why does the establishment try to put him in prison for 500 years? So, and, if, hold, and, on uh, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, on this drone thing, yeah, he might have continued drone programs. Did he not try to end the Afghan war? In fact, he was the only one in the room trying to end the war in Afghanistan. And finally, if he was pro-establishment, how many new wars were started under Donald Trump? Well, so for the, um, the establishment trying to lock him up, um, I do think there's legitimate crimes there. We can disagree on that. But I do agree that the yeah, establishment... Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to disagree on that. I do agree that the establishment, it, it is a politically motivated thing because... I don't. I think if he decided not to run, they wouldn't be going after him. So I do think it's pretty, but I don't think it changes the fact that those are legitimate crimes. But I don't think the establishment is scared of his, like how he would govern. What the establishment hates more about Donald Trump is that, like, he, whenever he's like running for president, he exposes the corruption in the establishment, and he has a way of making it seem like he's not part of them while while playing the game while governing. So I don't think they're so scared. Okay, so let's record. talk about three policy issues. Yes. What is the establishment regime position on trade? The establishment? Unlimited amount of trade, foreign products coming in, free trade. What was Trump's position? Tariffs on China? Yeah. Right? Renegotiating NAFTA. What is the establishment position on global-type contracts? For example, Paris Peace Treaty. Trump got out of it, right? Blew up all this stuff at the U.N. How about another issue? Immigration. What is the regime standard position on immigration. Invade the world, invite the world, as many people as possible. Trump put a travel ban on from China and had a terror watch list ban for any country in the Middle East. So I could go position by position, not to mention, you know, look at Trump fired Comey. Yeah, you agree with that one. Yeah, but what look, kind of establishment look, guy fires the head of look, the FBI look, in, and then has to experience a two year investigation launched by Mueller well, Which and was I, and I, think that, I think that investigation was BS too, but he put okay, in, well, he put in some... Christopher, but he put in Christopher Ray. Christopher Ray right now was protecting the Biden administration. Fair enough. So yeah, that, that, that's he, a fair he puts, point. He puts in establishment people. Here's, here, so, so your argument is purely on personnel. And let me just say this: Donald Trump, as Rush Limbaugh would say, selects personnel that is perplexing at times. But what I think you will agree with is that his instincts and many of his major policy actions were generationally and transformationally against the regime establishment of the last 40 years in both political parties. And, and I, whether it be war, immigration, trade, international type agreements, and understand, he was the only one that was fighting and these people would come in and they'd lie to him. I'm going to be an FBI director with this. And he will be the first one to say, should have handled Fauci differently, should have handled Burks differently. But you know what? If you want to see Donald Trump unleashed, Wait for term, true, term two Donald Trump <laughs> to be able to go after the administrative state. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. If we want to be honest, bro, when Trump comes back again, hmm, a lot of things will change. Like the world will change. Like the world will feel America again. Like I feel 
I, I really don't like going to politics, but I feel Biden is cool. Like he he's a cool guy. Trump wants to get out there, like and I and do stuff. Trump wants to sing. Like he he he's the kind of president that wants to do stuff for his people. He wants his people to remember him. And I feel when you see a president that wants to do, why say a president that has money? So you know, money is not what he's looking for. He's looking for the name, and he wants to be one of the best president America ever had. And I love that fire that is burning in him. But guys, tell me to come up this and like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.